Hey everybody, it's me again, and this time I'm here to break down my newest listing in the heart of the Germantown neighborhood that just got a shiny new remodel. But this isn't your average new listing, folks. This is a 130-year-old Camelback, one of the original build-outs in that area back in the 1890s. It's move-in ready, and it's sitting in one of the most walkable stretches of the neighborhood. So I'm gonna run through a few of the before and after remodel highlights and why this beauty might be the right next house for you. So before we even head inside, let's size up this location, it's sitting just a few houses down on the other side of the street from the Germantown Mill Lofts, and just a few doors down in the other direction, you've got what was Red Bud Dining Room, great little restaurant there. Uh, this house is just a two minute walk to Knock Bar, Sereno, The Post, and Four Pegs, and it's a one minute straight shot drive to Logan Street Market, Atrium Brewing, Toasty's Tavern, and Monic Brewing, not to mention George Rogers Clark Park, Joe Creason Park, and Cherokee Park, all within a five minute drive as well. If walkability and experiences are important to you, this house is in the thick of all of it and is a 10 out of 10. Now we're walking through the two car driveway to get to the side door here. Always a golden cherry on top to have that off street parking because as we know, Germantown houses are not always guaranteed to have that off-street parking feature. Uh, but check out this open layout, you all. When my sellers initially bought this house, the space in the front of the house was actually two separated rooms with a small kitchen off the back of the house. The house needed an update anyway, and my sellers decided to open up that front space, bring the kitchen to the front of the house, and make it all one open, collaborative living, dining, and kitchen area. Not only that, but opening that front space up flooded the entire area with natural light, making it feel that much more inviting and cozy on the inside. Now, while we're on the subject of this front space, I want to talk about the bedroom situation. Initially, when my sellers bought this house, like I mentioned before, this front area consisted of two separated rooms, the front of which was being counted as one of the bedrooms. In the Germantown area especially, it's not unusual to see the front room of the house being counted as a bedroom, sometimes referred to as your shotgun bedroom. Yes, it can be used as one, but it's really more of a living room with the front door leading into it. So what my sellers decided to do was eliminate that discounted bedroom by converting that front space to living kitchen space and building a wall across what was originally one open foyer type of room at the base of the stairs. This added another true bedroom to the mix, which offset the elimination of the original bedroom up front and combined with the other two to give the house three true bedrooms instead of two true bedrooms and one cop out shotgun style bedroom. And hey, while we're on the subject of bedrooms, let's go check out the brand new primary bedroom suite upstairs. Now this upstairs space was nice and large for a Germantown second story even before the remodel, but originally it was two separated rooms, one being used as a bedroom and the other was sort of an awkward landing space at the top of the stairs. So what my sellers decided to do here was reconfigure that second story so that the landing space was absorbed into the footprint of the new master suite. They walled that space off and turned it into a new primary bathroom off of that original bedroom, which gave the entire square footage of the upstairs more functionality, and now it acts as a cozy private escape with an updated full bathroom. Pretty cool. And let's not forget about the great outdoors here, people. The backyard has a large private type of feel, and there's a covered porch extending off the back and the side doors, which gives you plenty of options for lounging with that morning coffee. Between that, the renovations, and amazing walkable location, this house has a lot of things that many Germantown houses simply don't have, which really puts it over the edge for me. And folks, this house is live and for sale in the market as you're currently watching this video. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be happy to get you any information that you might need uh, or to get you inside for a closer look and a private tour. My number is 502-500-6469, and I'll talk to everybody soon.